All right, so we moved the camera equipment over to the uh, gym booth by Polaris. We got uh, Thomas. How you doing, Tom? Good, Good. to see you. Great. Um, so this is a family of vehicles, and this is uh, electric vehicles that there's a need for. You know, everyone's trying to go greener, fuel economy. Um, explain wh what vehicle we're looking at and the one that we just went and saw. Okay. This is the GEM ES, which is uh, an electric vehicle. It's our short utility. It's a short bed. Um, has a range of 35 miles. Okay, on, on, on one on charge. A charge. Um, the charge is just uh, by using a, a 110 volt standard home plug-in. Um, it'll take about six to eight hours to fully recharge. Okay. But you can return to recharge after short trips. So six to eight hours, and you said it's about eight cents a mile? About two cents oh, a two mile. Oh, two cents a mile, okay, yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, so uh, in a, a common um, electricity rate, it takes about 80 cents to recharge the vehicle. That's amazing, yep. really good. So some of the benefits of this are you can run them in warehouse, you can go in yes. base, indoor, outdoor, you don't have to worry about emissions, um, right. low uh, energy costs, low fuel costs, or no fuel costs, basically. Um, and then also, you said that it could be formatted for transportation, so you can use it for medical. You have a six-seater, four-seater, two-seater. And we have two long bed vehicles that right, one, one can carry a, a medical gurney. Okay. It also carries a, a box to use for utility. For tools, for, for running tools, on base, going in hangers. Electricians, heating, air conditioning. Kind of explain the relationship between Jim and Polaris. It was just Jim was just recently purchased by Polaris. Yes, right? uh, Global Electric Motor Cars was started in about in 1998. Okay. And then in 2001, Chrysler purchased the company, and uh, just recently in 2011, Polaris purchased the Jim from Chrysler. So it's a, it's a natural bridge because Polaris already makes vehicles like this, but they're you know, using fuel and they've been in the business for a long time. Right, right. And we have common customers. Um, GEM has uh, about 5,000 vehicles in service with the federal government, mostly military. And you said that you've sold over 50,000. We have sold 50,000 GEM vehicles. Yep. That's amazing. That's, yes. that's a big number. Over the whole world, we have dealers, dealers around the world. And so the, the uh, military and Department of Defense is really starting to kind of adopt this technology and there's a demand for it now. Yes, yes, and, and also the vehicles are street legal. They're legal on streets posted 35 and below. You, you said you have an e-meter in, in some of the console. Yes. Explain some of what yes, that is. Yes, uh, we came up, uh, the Marine Corps came up with a requirement to track the usage of energy okay. by our vehicles. Um, we came up with a, with a system called e-meter. It tracks the amount of kilowatt hours taken from the grid to charge the vehicle, thereby the uh, Marine so Corps. It's a display. It's a display. It tracks the amount of hours, kilowatt hours of energy taken from the grid. And uh, therefore, the Marine Corps could track that as the same way they track fuel on a fuel um, powered vehicle. So, is there any way to transfer that data or is it just a visual? It's, it's a visual okay. and uh, it's, it takes a, a running toll of, of kilowatt hours. Taken. Oh, okay, so it takes a, of the life of the vehicle. Yes. Oh, wow. So every year they're required to turn in a report. This provides the information. The information. And that's on all the vehicles? On all the GEM vehicles have that okay, feature. Okay, great. Yeah. All right.